I'd like to ask about another aspect of the Older Americans Act, and that is we started talking about Social Security, how Social Security provides a safety net to keep people out of poverty, but it's a very modest safety net. And I think we'd all agree that people need pension help to the extent they've got it. If they put any money away during their working years, they need that money in their retirement years. But that managing a pension can be complex. And that part of what the Older Americans Act did was establish a pension counseling and information program six regional projects covering 29 states so that there's assistance for seniors who are trying to get access to their pensions. Now, one project in particular that I've learned about is one out of Massachusetts. It's the New England Pension Assistance Project at the University of Massachusetts, Boston. And it uses OAA funds in order to help people recover lost pensions. Lost pensions are pensions that people moved during their working years. The company has since changed names, merged with another company, uh, so that people can't find pensions that they may now be eligible for. And it's my understanding from reading your testimony, Ms. Altman, that this project since 1993 has produced about $175 million for about 50,000 of our seniors and that this is another one that has a great leverage on it. For every dollar that we've spent in costs, seniors have recovered about $8 in pension money. But it's only available in 29 states because there's not enough funding for it now. So the question I have is on this one, if we ended the sequester, if we expanded the program, how much money could we potentially recover for our seniors? Ms. Altman? for that question, the, uh, because this is exactly right. This is another part, another really illustration of how the Older Americans Act works. There is federal money that's leveraged in many ways. First of all, there has to be private, they have to have some foundation grant coverage as well. So these six regional offices that are counseling projects that cover only the half the 29 states, three-fifths of the, the country, um, bringing in private money, and then getting $8 for every federal dollar spent, as you said. Some of the states that are not covered are states with high numbers of retirees. Florida is not covered. A lot of the Northwest, Washington and Oregon are not covered. Maryland and Virginia are not covered here. If, if, and, and again, it's the, I, I'm used to working with Social Security with the large amounts of money. The money is very modest. It's one point. Six million dollars is the amount for, to run all of these centers with all of these lawyers uh, handling. They've, they've gotten returns for 50,000 um, beneficiaries who had, it's a kind of program integrity. They've earned these benefits and they, they need legal assistance in actually getting them. I think that if, if um, the program were just increased modestly so you could cover all 50 states, we're likely to double the return. So $275 million has been collected for beneficiaries, as I say, a kind of program integrity um, for the tax expenditures that are used over the, over the course of this program. And I think you could easily double that. Well, thank you. I, this is such a modest amount of money. And I just want to emphasize, this is not a subsidy. This is money people earned. And it's just trying to help them get the money they earned. So thank you, Ms. Alton.